Okay, this is how you do the ears. You take, I have a prepackaged alcohol swab that you can just shoot a cotton ball and rubbing alcohol. And you take the ear and you make sure you clean it down even into the base to get all the dirt and oils. Uh, the inside of the ears are usually very oily and that will keep the adhesive from sticking. So you wanna make sure you get them really clean so that your ears will stay over longer. The other thing you wanna make sure you do is that if there's any hairs that are longer in the way, you can cut them or trim them so that they don't get stuck and cause irritation for the puppy. So then you let that dry, just air dry for a little bit. And you take, I have um, what's called Japanese tape, but you can also use double-sided sticky tape, which is the carpet tape, I believe, that you can get from Mel. And I actually prefer that, but I'm just out of it. Stay. Sometimes it's easy to have easier to have a person help you hold the puppy so that they don't leave. I'm kind of used to doing it myself, but. So I've had to round mine. You won't have to if you have the double-sided tape. And then you take your Doc Banner's adhesive grooming spray and you lightly spray each side of it. And then you have to let that air dry until it's tacky. It just takes a couple minutes. Sometimes I have a fan running and you can put it in front of the fan to speed it up but you don't want to put it on when it's still wet. You have to make sure that it's tacky. So now it's starting to stick to my finger and I'm ready to put it in. So then you put it right at the base of the ear where you want it to bend over. She's already has a, what's called a break started and we're gonna fold it over. So I'm gonna place this right here and stick it down, making sure the hairs are out of the way and then fold over the tip and hold it with my fingers for a few minutes. Actually, probably a minute. And you can kind of just massage it and rub it. Check to make sure that there's no hair in the um, ear that's being pulled that's gonna cause her to scratch or itch. Um, sometimes they'll do it anyways. Just be sure there's not a hair, then they get used to it and forget about it, but um, you don't want them to have a reason such as a hair being pulled. So after that's been set, you do exactly the other thing, other uh, the same thing to the other ear, and that's it.